Hey guys, today we actually having a look at another bag for a laptop. Uh, this is also a backpack and this is another bag from Everkey and this is the 107. So I think they also call this the Active. So let's um, let's have a look. Yeah, that's, it's, a, it's a 15 inch bag. So for 15 inch laptops, you can put actually anything smaller in here. And this is a way cheaper bag than the, let's say the Everkey Flight. Uh, there is a few things on this bag that's actually better quality than on the Everkey Flight, but let me, let's go through the, the looks and what you get with this bag. So on this bag, you've got two main pockets. Uh, there is a few hidden ones and stuff like that, but you've got your front one. Uh, the zippers on this, you will see that it's, um, it's very smaller. <laughs> the zippers on this one, you can, you can see that it's a lot smaller than the Everkey Flight zippers. I think there's a reason this, this, this bag is priced at a very, uh, you know, it's, lower, it's in a lower price class than the Everkey Flight and maybe the Everkey uh, Atlas. Um, so this one at the back, let's quickly have a look. You'll see that the straps is a lot thinner. Um, I actually got an Everkey. Let's quickly compare them. This is the Everkey Flight. So the flight, um, actually something I didn't show in the flight video is that these straps that can go around your chest is adjustable. So it can slide up and down. That's just something small. But let's have a look at this. The thickness and the, the padding on the straps for your shoulders is, is a lot thicker. One thing that I do notice on this bag is that the strap clips or these things where you can um, tighten your, your straps, your sh so shoulder straps with, they are a lot, I don't know, it's, this is not s so small, but it's a lot smaller than the one that you get on this active bag or the 107. So the 107 has actually got a little bit more sturdy kind of shoulder strap clips. So yeah, that's just one thing I can, I can see. But further on this, I mean, this is totally, the flight is totally a different kind of a, a bag. So let's put that aside and keep our attention on this one. So what this one has that the flight also doesn't have is actually a place where you can put through, like they show it here, uh, if you have a trolley and you wanna just wanna quickly put the bag on top of that through the handle so you can, you can use this as a, you know, as a unit with a trolley. So this will be where you slide through stuff like handles and, and whatever and you, the bag is then just attached to another trolley. The handle at the top is also a little bit thinner uh, and it's only got one. But again, it's got good padding for your back. Although the shoulder straps is a bit thinner, whatever, this, the back, the padding for your back is very good. So you won't feel the laptop on your back but the laptop is in the same compartment on this bag as your other stuff so let's uh, let's start maybe from the side here as you can see uh, it's got these little pockets where you can put stuff on the side I think this you can put a water bottle in here like the other one it's it doesn't have the little band at the top to keep the bottles secure and on this side same thing, exactly the same pocket. Um, it's just a little pocket where you can put stuff in. Um, that's it, yeah, for the side pockets, very basic. But uh, I think it's still a, even though it's, it's, it's made from thinner fabric than the flight, it's still a good quality bag. The front pocket, it's got a little space here. Again, with this little hook material, this is a fairly large bag. Let's put a, a A4 paper in here so that you can just get an idea of how, how large it is. It's not for your documents, I think. Maybe you can put a book in here or whatever. But um, yeah, it's, it's, I think it's for stuff you want to quickly access. Then 
if we unzip the front pocket here we've got here we've got your space where i would put my charger a few pins and this is just like a little hook for for your keys so you can hook your keys here and it's easy to get get to them quickly uh, this pocket is it's it's large you can definitely fit a file or something in here easily and yeah that's just a nice space for for everything you want to you want to take with you again you can you can i normally use this little bag for for a mouse just to keep it safe id books and wallets and whatever you can put in here actually this bag has got a nice secret compartment for a wallet let's quickly get to that uh, it's on this side so on your back side you can actually open this up and put like i don't know like maybe flight documents or anything you want to passports anything you want to keep close to your body and safe um, you can even put your cell phone in here, but it, I think it'll be, might be a bit, I don't know, irritating for your back or not. Maybe not, because this is also very thick padding at the bottom. But you can put anything there which you just want to keep safe and close to you. Then the space where the laptop lives. Uh, this is this big bag at the back. So this is the largest one of them all. They are all orange inside, so you can easily find stuff. Uh, this is, let's, let's pull this back so that you can have a nice look at what you get here. So it is padded nicely for the laptop. As I said, this is for 15 inch. Um, I'm first gonna just put the sleeve of mine in there. So I normally use my laptop with a sleeve and on this bag, it's, it's extremely easy to fit the whole sleeve with a laptop in there. Then, I mean, you can just zip it up and your machine is safely in there. So that'll work nice with the Everkey sleeve. Uh, you've got a lot of space in front. Um, I'm just gonna put the Everkey accessory bag in there. As you can see, it just drops in. It's in there and easy. To get it in and out this is very very a large compartment the only thing maybe is it's not separate so you if you have a if you want a separate compartment for your laptop this might not be the bag for you oh another thing with this one is they've got a little extra pocket for i would say this pocket you can use for files or maybe a bit of you know you can put a few papers in here just keep the documents safely you know straight and not not damaging whatever you put in there paper wise <laughs> okay so there's a eviki logo stitched there this is i think this fabric is put here to just give it a bit of uh, sturdiness and strength to keep whatever you put in front um, also protect your laptop or whatever but it, it is definitely it's a, also a foamy, memory foam kind of a inlay or stuffing in there. One thing that I, that I must mention is this bag, the pictures of it online is, it gives the idea that it's maybe made of leather or in, something like that, but it's not. It's, a, as you can see, it's actually nylon something. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, it is, it's definitely not neoprene or leather or anything like the sleeve the sleeve is made of something else let's just put a laptop in there so you can see how a laptop will fit in here on its own without a sleeve so a 15 inch large 15 inch laptop will easily fit in there i'm sure you can actually get something a little bit wider or bigger in here a proper gaming laptop or whatever almost maybe a 16 or 17 inch might fit in here. It's, it's definitely gonna fit your laptop very easily. This top layer is very thin. So that's again why I won't use 
the, the bag itself without a sleeve or put my laptop in here without a sleeve or some kind of protection at the top. Um, it would be nice if they made like a flap or something that keeps your laptop from, listen, if the, if the laptop, if the bag falls like this, the laptop corner is definitely going to hit through this thin piece of material or fabric and it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to damage the, the laptop. I think if the bag is fully packed, then the laptop might have a better chance if it falls like on the head or whatever. Um, no problem on the bottom, there's, there's a lot of stuffing or a lot of protection at the bottom. But at the top, again, this is, this is what you have at the top. So if this squeezes, so if the laptop slides upwards when it, when it falls, then, then that's definitely gonna, gonna hurt the machine. So definitely use the strap to keep the machine from going up and to that thin corners at the top. Uh, that's it for unbagging this. <laughs> I don't know, having a look at this uh, bag. So you've got a good idea of what you buy or what you get when you buy this. And again, I think it's, it's very good quality for the price you pay for this one. If you're more kind of an active traveler or whatever, I would go for the Atlas or I would go for the, the Everkey flight. That's uh, another Everkey bag. Um, there's the picture they've got of everything you can put in there and how they thought you would use it. So, good. Thanks for watching and hopefully this helped you to decide if you want this or not.